Hey everybody, it's Lynn again from A Bit of Birdsong. Jay, I have to tell you, when you commented on my video about the strips from the shindy rug making great flowers, or maybe that would be an idea for them, you got me thinking about that. Um, alongside of that, I've been taking pages out of that um, book about Tiffany and Tiffany lamps. I used a page from that book last month to create the blackout poetry for the um, for the monthly zine, and uh, I've got another one ready for April. I'm so excited about it. But I just want you to look at this. So the pages, all of you, and Jay, thank you so much for the idea. Um, in the Tiffany book, there were these vases, and some were in color, but they were really glossy. And then there was this one in black and white, and I thought, well, what if I just drew my little stems with an ink pen, and then took five different pieces of the strips from the shindy rug, and just made flowers, and sewed them onto this and I think it turned out so cute. Um, we've got this stark white background so I thought what I might do is maybe get some color on the background. I'm not even sure yet what I want to use but I did come across these uh, watercolor creams, metallic colors, draw or add water to paint. So I think this might add some interesting color and these were a gift. I appreciate this so much, and maybe I'm trying to figure out how I want to do this. If I want to just color onto the page, and I'm wondering what colors do we want. I want some of this, I know that. And I'm wondering about the bright yellow. Or maybe the gold. That, that is better. So let's just start with that and let's see what happens. You know what? Um, art just doesn't have to be anything fancy. This felt so easy to me. Let me just go ahead and put a little bit more color there. And I thought, I have no idea how this is going to come out. But I'm just going to go for it. Now, I don't really like that I can see the crayon lines under there, but I like this. So what if we just use the brush? I really want to try to stay away from the vase for right now. got on the base a tiny bit. I mean, it, it's not the end of the world. I was just thinking about the contrast of that black and white vase with all of the, the pretty colors. And maybe just sort of go easy around the stems. This ink runs with water didn't think about that too much, but that's okay. That I'm, I'm not worried about that too much. Like I said, we'll just kind of go easy through here. I was thinking about blue at the top. Um, even though a vase is normally sitting inside, I was just kind of thinking about the sky, you know, and oh, that blue is so pretty. question. So I work in a retail store. A lot of you, I think, know where I work. We sell all sorts of fabric and craft supplies and stuff. And uh, one place where there are always sort of bare walls is, well, the bathroom. And then hopefully we'll get the classroom going again soon too. But I feel like box 
stores, these big companies, they can feel so uh, cold. And I understand with merchandising that you need to have a certain amount of just, it's almost like when a real estate agent is selling a house and they, they take out a lot of what the owners had in there and stage it very neutrally so that people can picture their own items there. So you don't want a big uh, retail store to look like a thrift store. And yet I feel like it's inspiring to see pieces of art to show people what they can make and even like to decorate the bathroom, you know, to, I mean, for one thing, it always needs to be clean. And I love doing things like that. I just think it would be, oh, look at those spots. I love the way that happened. I just think it would be so cool to, um, just to have pieces of art, not in places on the floor where it's gonna compete with the merchandise and the store layout, but what do you think? How would you feel if you saw things like this in a big box store? And maybe monthly bulletin boards with ideas like from magazines and stuff. Well, I think this is just turning out pretty, pretty cute. Maybe it's just me, but I like it. And you know what? This satisfies my need to create after working all day. Isn't that adorable? Oh my gosh, Jay, I'm so glad you said that about the flowers. I had not thought about that. Maybe I will just put my little baby initials down here and the date. All right, I love that. Well, thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna go inside. Jason was teaching tonight and um, I know he's done teaching. So I'll just go in and it's time for us to sit together on the couch and figure out what we're gonna eat for dinner and you know, catch up with each other as far as how our days have been. Anyway, I'd love to hear your comments about seeing art and things in a big box store versus it feeling so like, sterile or whatever. Okay, bye for now.